Hello folks and welcome back to the Tesla project. So today it's uh, another fairly big milestone for us in so far as that I received the prototype uh, boards for the small drive units on Friday. Uh, I had given them to a company to be manufactured for me simply because with everything going on in my life at the minute, I didn't have time to sit here for a couple of days hand soldering a bunch of surface mount parts. So those boards arrived and uh, I've been spent the last few hours here testing them, well, testing one of them. And I've now just installed it in, in a front motor inverter here on the bench and it is uh, working away merrily and passing all bench tests. So we have a pretty good fit with all the mounting locations. Uh, we have serial and CAN communication uh, working. Uh, we have the Tesla current sensors working, so they're soldered in here. This is a bit of a pain uh, to do because the way that they work these um, so these small drive unit uh, boards come mounted on a aluminium backplate and they're soldered directly to these current sensors here and what you need to do to remove this is to take out all of the screws then you have to desolder the wires to the current sensors and then we take one of our open source replacement boards and we've got to pretty much uh, put this back in here and line these these holes up here uh, and re-solder the current sensors in which is a bit of a pain in the neck but we got there fortunately after much perseverance um, and we have this one here running on the bench now uh, it seems to be operating all the signals uh, to say we're talking to the computer, we've got a wiring harness plugged in the back. So what we're going to do next is we are going to head out to the workshop and uh, we're going to connect it up to the motor. And first of all, I want to see if we can run open loop so I can calibrate the current sensors. And if we can run open loop, uh, we will connect the encoder to here and we will uh, see if we can run closed loop so stay with us alrighty folks we are back out in the workshop uh, we have the front drive unit inverter connected to the front drive unit motor uh, with some extension leads on the three phases there just so we can uh, just so we can calibrate the current sensors um, we have power and forward direction uh, being applied on the low voltage side. We have our old trusty forklift power supply charger thingy here giving us about 45 volts DC uh, going into these high voltage lines which have to be screwed into the back of the um, inverter. Uh, so we got all that set up, uh, I've got my clamp meter on one of the phase lines here for calibrating current sensors and if we hit the button, our motor starts spinning. So at this point uh, I'm very pleased to announce that it looks like we have control over the inverter. Um, in the small drive unit. Uh, the next stage of the operation uh, will be to get the inverter mounted back on properly on the end of the drive unit and connect up the encoder and see if we can run in closed loop mode. Now 
One of the things we've done on the board here, let me get a little bit nearer for you, has been to include a jumper to select the polarity of the encoder, ch en encoder channels. And I did that on this revision of the PCB because there's simply no way to know what's the right direction of rotation uh, for the encoder in relation to the motor phases. And it would have been all too easy to get that backwards. So once we bolt the whole thing up and we try to, to run it, either it's going to run fine or it's going to go gig, 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 and it won't really turn properly at all. In which case we'll have to unbolt the whole shooting match and swap the two jumpers and then it should run fine. And in subsequent board builds then, uh, if we do end up using this revision of the PCB, we can just basically solder jump uh, the right polarity on there. And um, yeah, for future PCBs then we'll be able to just uh, take that component out and just track straight to the uh, filter. But that is our front drive unit turning, fortunately in the right direction, so it is running forward, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Um, not going to run it very fast here now, open loop, because again, I'm not sure about the lubrication in there. I do have some uh, Dextron 6 ATF to get and to put in there. Um, but we are running, that is the main thing, and uh, we will be back next time, uh, and we will be doing some closed loop runs here, and uh, hopefully get good results there too. So, guys, if you've enjoy in enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a like, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Uh, there will be links in the description to my Patreon and PayPal uh, should you wish to make a financial contribution to these crazy projects. And also link in the GitHub to the design files, software and everything for what we're doing here and in other Tesla related projects. So do visit the, that link if you would like to uh, perhaps have a go at some of this madness for yourselves. And failing that, we'll see you next time and happy small drive unit motoring.